How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a standard 7 inch uh, angle grinder from Harbor Freight and turn it into a replica of the Eastwood uh, surface conditioning tool, the SCT. Uh, some people call it the contour. Anyway, what it really does is just convert your rotary uh, grinder to a linear uh, polisher. And this is a really handy tool that I use for uh, getting a brushed finish on either stainless or uh, aluminum. Whenever you want all of your lines going the same direction so that you have a nice even uniform finish, you need to uh, have a rotary tool spinning in line with the grain of the uh, metal that you're polishing. It's hard to do that with a rotary uh, grinder because it's always in a circular motion and so you get all kinds of swirls and it, until you actually buff out all of that and make it a high polish um, it doesn't really work so what you want is a you know when you want a low polish or a, you know a satin finish or a brushed finish on stainless or aluminum you need something like this um, and the Eastwood uh, SCT surface conditioning tool is a great tool um, but for me um, $220 for a, uh, a polisher that I'm going to use only occasionally is a lot of money so I would rather put that money towards uh, other tools that I'm going to use on a daily basis this um, this tool this conversion cost me I already had the grinder because I use it for uh, you know grinding out welds and polishing up metal getting ready to uh, prep for welding but you can still you can get these they're $39 at Harbor Freight and with a coupon usually you can get the 20% off and get it down to 32 to $34 um, depending on what sale you come up with so even with that I bought the kit the conversion kit off of eBay uh, for $49 they've gone up a couple dollars since then they're like $52 I think now but still even if you bought the kit and a brand new grinder uh, you're still well under $100 which is you know a lot less than half of what the cost of what the Eastwood SCT cost um, so for me it just works out better for a uh, for a non everyday use tool so what I'm gonna do is show you what the kit comes with that I got off of eBay what you need to order is the one that is five-eighths of an inch uh, hub by 11 threads per inch and so basically when you get your kit uh, you're gonna look on uh, eBay you can also get them on Amazon um, but the cheaper prices you can get on eBay um, so what you're gonna get in the kit um, is a mandrel that basically has two keys uh, keyways uh, on the mandrel that uh, drive the wheel you get a retaining uh, screw and washer and basically this is just a 5 8 by 11 inch uh, drive rod that drives uh, the burnishing wheel so what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, take off your wheel your flap wheel or whatever grinding wheel you're using at the time first thing we're going to do is put on our guard um, and actually that's not true first thing we have to do is orient the grinder so if you'll notice when you look at the Eastwood SCT um, it's offset 90 degrees and when you get your grinder uh, from Harbor Freight you'll notice that it's meant for polishing so that you're oriented like this you know for grinding well this is great but when you turn it sideways now your buttons on the side so the first thing we have to do uh, is reorient this and the cool thing about this grinder is that you just loosen the four screws break it loose with the screwdriver a little bit just enough and then you just rotate it uh, 90 degrees and then you're all set to uh, retighten the screws down and I'll show you how to do that All right, once you get your four screws loose, you're gonna take your screwdriver and put it in one of the vent slots. 
down the side of the unit. And you're just going to pry up a little bit on one side, and we're going to go to the other side. And what we want to do, we don't want to break this thing completely loose. We just want to loosen it up enough so that we can rotate the head. Once you get it to pop, you'll notice that um, it rotates really easy. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to uh, tap it back into the motor housing. And then we're going to reinstall our screws. The cool thing about this is if you're left or right handed, you can orient it either way. Um, I've tried it both ways. I kind of like it facing to the left. Then all you do is retighten your screws back down. All right. Next thing we're going to do is just install our uh, drive hub. And this is just a 5 8 by 11 inch thread. You just tighten it up, lock your hub with your lock button just like you would with a wheel. And then just use a crescent wrench to snug it up. Take off your retaining nut or bolt, slide your, oh, first thing we have to do is put our guard on. This basically just goes on this little uh, flat section around the bearing housing. It's just a little clamp surface that slides on. Once you get it aligned, you just take your screwdriver again, tighten it down so it holds it in place, and then we're ready to install our wheel. These have uh, a round hub with notches in four different directions. Basically, you just line it up, drop it back down on there. Reinstall the lock bolt. Push your retaining nut, I mean uh, lock button over here on the side. Tighten it down and you're ready to go. And then you have your switch oriented straight down and you're ready to polish. <coughs> I've got a piece of aluminum here. I'm just going to show you basically how it works. Once you get it lined up and get it ready to go, Just that quick, you can see that it puts a nice uh, finish on it. I'll bring the camera over so we can look down at it and see. You can see how nice a finish it puts on there. This is the oxidized side and this is the freshly polished. It does kind of have a fingerprint here from my thumb. but. You can see what a nice finish it does make.
So there, you can see when you want a nice, fine uh, brushed finish for stainless or aluminum, what a great job this thing does. It's really, uh, it's really an extremely handy tool that I use a lot whenever I'm doing aluminum or stainless work. Okay, so this is um, a good point to talk about the things that I forgot to mention about what I was using here. Uh, the wheel that came with my kit is a 240 grit. That's what I used in this uh, polishing right here. And also, um, once you have this kit, you can interchange all of the Eastwood wheels that they make for their SCT. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different wheels for polishing, uh, really coarse ones for uh, uh, removing paint and rust uh, off of steel. Um, they even have up to really soft muslin uh, buffing wheels that you can do a high polish on aluminum and uh, stainless and things like that if you wanted to. Uh, but you can check out their site. Uh, look for their SCT tool. Uh, it's a great, great product and the wheels that they make um, are generally around uh, 21 to 23 dollars a piece so um, they're pretty reasonable uh, most of the ones that are the Chinese copies you can get on Amazon for about 16 to 18 dollars um, so I haven't really uh, played around yet with some of the Eastwood ones I'm probably gonna buy a couple from them just to see what kind of quality that their uh, wheels come out as so anyway that's uh, that's some of the stuff that I forgot to speak about when I was using the tool and showing for demonstration. All right, guys, that's it for my video on how to uh, create your own uh, SCT surface conditioning tool. Uh, for less than $100, you can make this. If you already have one of these grinders, you can just buy the conversion kit off of eBay. Um, for me, it's a tool I use a lot. Uh, but not every day, so um, I really didn't want to spend the money for the expensive one. So here's a, an inexpensive, affordable way that you can make this tool. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, uh, if you uh, like the videos I'm putting out, please subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And uh, hit the notification bell, that way you can know when I have uh, new videos coming out. I've got a lot of projects in the works that I'm using these tools on and uh, you'll get to see those as they come forward. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions about the kit I'll put a link uh, in the description for a couple different places you can get this conversion kit and um, I'll see you on the uh, on the next video. Thanks guys!